Okay, welcome Trenton Country Club members. I have Peter Daly here, and my name is Eli Reed. I'm the head golf professional, and Peter is the superintendent at Trenton Country Club. Um, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some maintenance practices to help keep Trenton Country Club in, in the best shape it can be. Hey, it's Eli Reed, and in this section, we'll be going over some cart path etiquette. As you see, I have all four tires on the path, and when we park the cart, please keep all four tires on the path, unlike I'm doing here. One thing that'll happen is worn out turf around the cart path, so please keep all four tires on the path when you park. Follow the directional signs. This here is the hole number seven, and we're gonna bring it to the left where the directional signs are pointing me. Please do not take the cart around the back side of the seventh green. So when we park our carts on seven, we should always park the cart over there by the, the staircase. We should pretty much always have that cart when we're walking up to seven right about there. Very important, divot filling. If the divot breaks up into a bunch of little pieces, all you're gonna use is the sand. If the divot comes out like this one here, you're gonna put the divot back, and then if there's any space where the, the divot's not filled up, you're gonna use a little bit of sand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna smooth it over and that way, when the mowers go over it, they don't, the sand doesn't dull the mower blades. Uh, so you're going to smooth it over just like that, and then the mower will go right over that. In this section, we're going to talk about the bunkers. I'm going to hit a bunker shot here, and you notice how the face of the bunker is higher than the, the back side. What I should do is walk backwards. This is a no-no. Please do not walk up the face of the bunkers. In this section here, hit a bunker shot, and I'm gonna walk backwards. And I'm also gonna push the sand away as I rake to rake up all my footprints. When I'm done, I'm gonna leave the rake parallel to the hole. As you see, the rake to my right is wrong. This one is correct. Tap those shoes before you walk onto the green so we do not leave a trail of sand on the green. When we break tees on tee boxes, please just remove them and throw them in the trash. On par threes, if you make a big divot, replace it. If it breaks up into little pieces, we'll fill it for you. One of the most important sections here Ball mark repairs, as you see, I'm pushing around the ball mark and tapping it flat. It's very important to keep our greens healthy. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, come visit us in the golf shop.